Hey, y'all. <laughs> I can't even get through the intro. Hey, y'all. Welcome and welcome back. So I'm off to the side today because I have a hey. husband. Who I love joining. horses and patriarchy. And <laughs> other stuff. This whole video is going to be an absolute mess, and I hope it is in the best way possible. Uh, do you want to show everyone what you're going to be unboxing today? Oh, okay. That's fine. Patriarchy. <laughs> hey. You brought scissors, right? Yeah, I always have scissors. Okay. So I'm going to put this down here because it's a big it, box. It's a big box. <laughs> but we got the Mojo Dojo Casa House Ken. I I need to rant for a second because this took so long to get here. I pre ordered it in August. It was supposed to ship like by November 13th or something like that. Maybe it was like the 18th. But it was supposed to ship in November and then I got a message that it was delayed. And it's finally here. Finally. So mm -hmm. now uh, Tony can do a fun little unboxing of what is... It's Ken now. Quote unquote, his doll. <laughs> this one isn't even mine. This I is... did buy it for myself. This one is his. <laughs> they told me, hey, there's a Ken doll with the fur coat, the Mojo... Co what was it? Mojo Dojo Casa House? Yeah. Thing. And I, I just handed them my credit card. And I no, I it. paid for it and was like, hey, did I you? ordered the, the doll you wanted. And then you paid me back. Right. <laughs> basically, shut up and take my money. <laughs> So this is going to be uh, Tony's little unboxing here. Now, I do have a question for you because the, the box is pretty fun and special. I'm not normally a packaging person, but like... I like the box. Barbie is scratched out on the front and it's replaced with Ken. It's a pretty cool box, honestly. Do you want me to unbox this and yes. try to preserve the box so that you can yes. put him back in? Uh, I might not put him back in, but I like Well, like, like you can have him not like tethered in but like in the stand so that he's displayed in box. Well, i don't know where i'm gonna put him at that point now he could go up there <laughs> that's a problem for later <laughs> uh try and preserve it if i need to, to not put him in the box I can, but just in case i can have the box okay are you like it are you gonna take your sunglasses off so you're not i have to grab my sister's that room. goes against my kennergy <laughs> like violently against my kennergy your kennergy yeah can you feel my kennergy Unfortunately, you're gonna have to take the sunglasses off. You're not gonna be able to see Ken, your precious boy. Daddy? Oh, you're right. He's, he's gonna get real uncomfortable. He's, real not, he's not Ryan Gosling. He's just Ken. Which there's nothing he's wrong with that. He's just Ken. Yeah, you know, he's just Ken. You can't sing the song because I will get copyright claims. <laughs> I'm just Ben. <laughs> I, I changed the words. Yes, that's gonna be I am currently Kenneth. Kenneth. I forgot the words right now. Okay, well that's the outer shell off, so you can like touch him now. I gotta say it like that. There's no other oh, way to something in my eye. <laughs> Maybe if you had normal glasses on, they would protect you. <laughs> Hello, Ken. Oh, this jacket's so soft. Oh, it is soft. Kind of like petting Alice. <laughs> no, our cat's definitely softer. Yeah. I like how they don't even have his arms in the sleeves. <laughs> they know. Yeah, because in the movie he just has it like draped over. over his shoulder. Yeah. Anyway, hello. He's even got the drippy. I don't the, think the have Nikes. We, have we addressed on the channel how much you loved the Barbie movie? I did really like the Barbie movie. I don't know if we did talk about it because there hasn't really been much of a point. Because I think that we. I don't were, even think I've worn this on here. Yeah. I don't think so. I think we were gonna talk about it, and then he took forever to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> that's right because yeah we bought this after the movie mm -hmm. and then that came out and it was okay cool yeah. save this to wear for the first time the way the that this happened was i said hey i want to go see the barbie movie and tony was like okay well i'm gonna be a good husband and i'll go with you but i don't really feel super strongly about it and then we got out of the movie and i said hey you know there's a sweatshirt that mattel made that is that like was Ken's really the <laughs> shut up and take my money <laughs> we like, I ordered it in the parking lot. We didn't even make yeah. it out of the theater. Best, like, what, 70 bucks? I don't remember at this point. Because, again, it took so yeah. long for this was, pen to get it's here. It's very hot in this thing. Yeah, yeah. That, you are going to be suffering under the filming lights yeah, a okay. little bit. I'll have to probably put on deodorant. <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to have to entertain the people somehow while uh, I do this unboxing. Because I never do unboxings on camera because... I'm bad at it, and it takes me so, so, so long, especially if I'm trying to be careful. You can't just dance the whole time. Why not? I'm a, I mean, comment I, down below if that I, was entertaining. I Did guess, you like my little Lethal Company dance? I guess you can just dance the whole time, sweetie. 
I'm blankly staring at them. That's nice. Are you uncomfortable yet? Not you, them. I'm uncomfortable. I wasn't asking you. I already knew you were uncomfortable. I exist in a state of being uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you hit me first. What do you mean? It landed in my lap. That was a casualty. <laughs> oh, but when, when you do it, it's fine. <laughs> but when I <laughs> do it... Oh, I thought this was a race. I'm so... He just definitely outed me as having random doll chunk on my floor. <laughs> anyway, if this video is a little bit different, first of all, Tony's here. So it's always a little bit different yeah, when he's what here. What did you expect? You knew what you were never, getting into when you clicked on never it. Never normal when Do you he's need to here. put a viewer discretion as advised, like intro every time? No. No? I mean, anytime you say something really out of hand, I cut it out. <laughs> but uh, if it's even weirder than normal, He's only getting weirder with age, so like, I can't help. I'm almost 30. <laughs> you are almost 30. Good, good math, Pookie. I'm having a crisis. I still got two years, I'm here. <laughs> He's really not connected with like that many pieces, which is interesting. I'm used to like having to cut 17,000 ties to get I, to it all. Do you think they, they made it for smooth brain men? No. Okay. I think that I don't know what I think I don't have any theories that's not <gasps> and just... stripped him <laughs> bro they put oh they put stuff over his yeah I'm, I'm working on it you can have that for a moment it's got the horses inside of the course jacket. it is yeah I'll, I'll do your little up close thing yeah hopefully it focuses but yeah the jacket's pretty drippy <laughs> He, I love the horses on the inside. It's probably my favorite. He thing. wanted to buy a full size. I did. Um, because you went as Ken for Halloween. I did. I really wanted to buy this coat, and I refused to let him because I said that's too expensive for a joke. Expensive jokes are where it's at. Mm, but... I I spent money on a six foot tall cardboard cutout of Joe Burrow for the sake of comedy. They know. I they've seen oh, the, room right. tour. the room tour. <laughs> I wasn't shy about exposing you. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Get well soon. Yeah, I think they're Nikes in the movie. I don't know, because I didn't pay that much attention. I think they are Nikes. I think they're covered because his pants are black, and so it's like to prevent staining from his pants from getting to the white shoes. But to that I say, time is going to ruin us all, and I have white acrylic paint. <laughs> they didn't even give us real shoelaces. The cretins. <laughs> you thought they were going to give us real shoelaces? <laughs> the cretins. I think that's... Why are you making tan tea posts? I not can... Jesus. Okay, he's got a couple more yeah, little things no, in his I head. But <laughs> I realize what that could be taken as. Sorry, I meant it as T-pose for dominance, not crucifixion. <laughs> Don't want to be crystal clear. This is the first time this year you have ended up on the channel, and the first what thing mean, you do... It's still December. <laughs> I'm putting this up in January. It's not December. <laughs> What do you mean? Point That's is, crazy. <laughs> this is going to be the first time of 2024 that you're on the channel and you make a crucifixion joke. It was God's birthday. I, I don't have the time or the energy to debate theology with you <laughs> and explain to you why that's so wrong. So <laughs> look at Ken and talk about him. Is he... Oh, God. His hair is so full of gel. Uh, his, his whole head is sticky. It's solid. It, Listen. It's like a rock. Uh. Oh. Like, I'm pulling his hair. It's not moving. <laughs> it's not moving at all. He's got... Oh, he's got plastic under the headband. Yeah. I can move that for you later. That's fine. Uh, my biggest issue I had with the doll thus far is that they... This is the actual headband from the movie. I did extensive research. <laughs> yeah. They changed the design on the headband. I don't know if it's because it was like a, like a brand, like someone's oh, brand, but maybe. it's, it's the Barbie movie. They obviously could buy. I don't know what the licensing. Anyway. Yeah. They like. changed that. Do you want to show them what you mean? Yeah, I did. So again, this is the, the actual design. The actual one is more blue and this one's more like, pink. On yeah. The doll. Pink. Yeah. You know, Again, you could stop looking like a creep and wear your regular glasses. Ken would wear his sunglasses inside. Oh, wait, he did. I don't think that is a compliment. Horses! 
I don't understand <laughs> patriarchy. I didn't understand patriarchy. I learned what it was from the barking. <laughs> That's not true. It is actually. <laughs> no, it's not. I didn't know what a patriarchy was. You didn't know the name for it, but like you understood the concept of like men deciding that they're better than everyone else. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so he's got the horseshoe necklace with the horse in the middle. Here, you do it. You're better than I am. It's your doll. It's your channel. I'm just the, the surprised, like, guest on, like, Conan. Like, oh, tell me about your latest movie deal. Well, this crazy thing happened on set. Like, this dude got, like, taken by a demon. It was crazy. Sips coffee. Conan laughs. Little... <laughs> And then it's like, haha, and then it's like, hey, can and that's that's Jimmy Fallon, I think. They're like, oh, let's do lip sync battles. Like, yeah. I know that I'm such a like different person when you're around because my first thought when he handed me this doll and was like, you talk about it, was like, he doesn't have nipples. I do. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's so bright in here now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but actually, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that there's no plastic on his chest to prevent the lining on the inside of this. Maybe it's like a different material that won't stain. I don't know. I was looking at a six pack. <laughs> I was seeing how detailed it was. Yeah, I thought you were going to say. He I'm, has. I'm this. Still surprised he doesn't have nipples. No, well, I don't think most Ken dolls have nipples. I don't think most male dolls in general have nipples. I don't think any doll has nipples. <laughs> LOL dolls have nipples. <laughs> He has a fanny pack. It comes off. Touch the fanny pack. It doesn't open, though. No, it doesn't open. This is Mattel, Anthony. You really thought that they That's were going to That's very Mattel of them to not do a good job. Uh, his sweatpants are an extremely soft material, and I want to know if there's, there's not plastic underneath. His <laughs> wiener! He doesn't have a wiener. He's Ken. You eunuch! Is he wearing, like, a jock strap, or is that... What is that? His name is on his pelvis. I think it's meant to be, like, a Calvin Klein-type underwear that are, like, sculpted on. Well, they would change the color. <laughs> Okay, so that means it's supposed to ride, like, that, first off. His booty's showing a little bit. Oh, no. A little scandalous. <laughs> yeah, it's the same color as his skin. Who yeah, all, like, a lot of Barbies and other dolls have molded on underwear that's the same shade as their skin. I just thought... It doesn't actually make them any less naked. It just makes super conservative parents less upset. I... Wow. <laughs> Hot take. 2024. Hey, guys. <laughs> Point is, is I was curious also if there was going to be any plastic underneath the pants. Hmm. And I, I don't feel any. Wow, they're sick. They're, oh, I didn't know they had lightning. Maybe I kind of want those on. sweatpants now. Oh, there's cardboard at the bottom, bottom. I'm just going to casually undress your Ken doll. <laughs> the roof! <laughs> the dogs are out. Better cut out that bark. <laughs> I'm not cutting out the bark. If you're gonna bark on camera, that was that's for you. your problem. That was for you. <laughs> Got the. Oh no, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Serves you right. I lost it. Good. Here it is. On on camera on my family friendly channel. Ah! Ah! No! No! The doll whose name I know of. Not Sirena. I'll fix not, it. Not, not the dogs. The... Oh. Bro, this dude. I'll fix her later. He's I... got a skin tan. I think I ordered the wrong Ken doll. He's got a skin tan. Do you feel? <laughs> to <learn> it. <laughs> Don't get me copyrighted. <laughs> To this evening, the music is quite egregious. Literally none of this has been a proper review, and for that I am sorry. Um, what he's you... more articulated than he could be. He's got knee articulation. He's which more is... articulated than new Rainbow High Dolls. That's actually not true. Dang it! <laughs> trying to be funny. Good try, good try. Uh, he has wrist articulation, which is super... More than Rainbow High Dolls. That is actually true, never mind. <laughs> I, I didn't realize at that point yet. He had the wrist articulation. So rest in pepperonis, I guess. Look at the wrist. <laughs> Look at the wrist. What do you think of the face sculpt? Because, okay, you know, um, y'all know, the Knuff hoodie Ken comes with a special face sculpt that is more like Ryan Gosling, and doesn't, you don't, don't like it. I don't think it looks like Ryan Gosling. I think it does. I don't, but I also haven't seen it in person. Maybe it looks better in person. Well, I don't know if anyone's seen it in person yet, because I think it was like a pre-order for well, a long while. Look, it wasn't worth it. I got the real hoodie. I've won. 
And I preferred, honestly, like the I the Knuff hoodie. Uh, Ken would have been fun, but he was like outrageously expensive. To try he out. was less expensive than this. It was more just like we've already purchased this, mm. and he has the same headband and the same pants and shoes. It was just the hoodie. It was just the hoodie, which is super cool. But I still think it should have been a fashion pack instead because it was so silly. I think this is better. I, I think mean, this jacket is funnier. It's got literal horses on the inside. It's you know. I obviously don't like the harm of animals. I love a good fur coat if it's fake. Tony says that. animal rights. Look, I, <clears throat> like, don't get me wrong. I like leather jackets and, like, Sherpa lining and stuff, but still. Like, th She's this is right. a little egregious if this is, like, someone had that for real. Good for you. Like, like Take I said, a moral stand. I'm cool with bomber jackets with, like, real fur, but mm, that's, no, that just... doesn't kill the animal. They just shave the animal. <laughs> What are you talking? How would I know? <laughs> yeah, they don't for that stuff. They don't kill the animal. It's sure, but it's like sheep. They just mm. they just shave it. Oh well, that's yeah. That's, yeah, like bomber. Now leather is a little different. Yeah, but, yeah, leather is. But this this is I just. I don't think you can just shave the. This leather is off. just some Corella. Why is there cardboard dirt in here? Because he was in a cardboard box. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Do you want to put his little arms through? Yeah. Well, he doesn't. I mean, I guess you could. He doesn't do that though. Does I he? think you can see it at least. Good luck. What do you mean? Man, if he was a rainbow high doll, he wouldn't be able to get that on because of the articulation. I learned about this recently. <laughs> that is why I'm driving it home so much. And by recently, I mean last night. He has a weird amount to say about it. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to be hip and relevant hip for you cool relevant. subscribers. Hip and relevant. Yeah, so that's what it looks like with the coat. I'm Phys hot physically just honest. looking at it. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Anyway. But yeah, Tony had some hot takes about the uh, Rainbow High reboot, and depending on when this video goes up... I don't remember what I said at all. I remember what you said. Depending on if this video goes up after I talk about that or before, you will either have just heard his hot takes, so you can roast him in the comments, or you will be about to hear his hot takes in, like, the next video. Are you gonna tell them? Yeah. Cool. I don't remember my own hot takes <laughs> from 12 hours ago. So obviously it wasn't that intense, but... That is him. I'm sorry this has been nothing even close you, to like a proper you review. You can do a legit review. I'm not good at that. Other people have done reviews. This is funny. So what's your favorite part of him? Pantsless. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I told you, my favorite part is the coat. I was just clarifying for the people. Yeah, I, I do like the lightning pants. I kind of want a pair now. That doesn't right. surprise me. Um, I love the fanny pack. I don't like fanny packs, but I think this is really fun. I like the Ken Kiss writing. It just, it works for his vibes. Yeah. I think he has a stand, right? Like, there's yeah, no way that it's they... it's in there. Okay. Found, it's just around the back. It. I didn't even, like, complete the unboxing. I just was like, here you go, babe. His coat's so big. <laughs> if you... <laughs> if you like, put the coat on him. It's just disappeared. You gotta fold the collar, that's why. He, like, fully isn't yeah. even there. Well, his arms don't even fully fit in the sleeves. What do you mean? Like, they stick out a little bit. You can it, probably push it a little bit. If you further. pull it up, this is what it does. <laughs> He's basically just a fur coat. Ken's a furry! You heard it here first. <laughs> that brought literal tears to my eyes. <laughs> I did that, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this is the certificate of authenticity. I got a certificate. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, is it because he was like a? It's because he's a collector. Yeah. So it says that he was, he's real. I didn't purchase him on like Wish. dot com. You mean off of this piece of paper that I very obviously could have printed? Yes, that's exactly. Right. This is just like <laughs> the worst. This is the worst certificate of authenticity I've ever seen. I have a legitimate certificate of authenticity over there for a picture, a signed picture of Jim Carrey, and that's nice. This is like, I literally went to Staples and I was like, hey, if I slip you a 20. I could do that at the printer at home. Okay, but the bit was bad. And like, My bad. You, uh, like, oh. Rewind. The moment's gone. <laughs> I, could, and I could roll up to Staples and be like, here's 20 bucks. Give me this. And they'd be like, sir, this is a Wendy's. Get out. Sir, this is a Wendy's. No. I don't know how... I guess you do have to put the sleeves through, but I just think... You don't have to. It's just harder to keep on. Well, it, I mean, yeah, I guess. You could always do, like, one on, one off. Very no, okay, <laughs> please! I'm a virgin. <laughs> 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 
Bro, if this is how 2024 is going to go for me, it's going to start like this. I need to start taking some medication. <laughs> I can't do this alone. <laughs> Margarita. <laughs> That's not saying alcoholism is a fix for anything. I just wanted to say the word margarita. <laughs> there you go. It can be like half on, half off, a little like woohoo moment. From now on, when I'm excited, <laughs> woohoo. He's not actually, the stand is um, something I would like to complain about because. It's not really clicking into place. It's, yeah, like the this piece is, comes out of the bottom very easily and it's I, only barely tall i paid to mattel money for this stand i was at least hoping for like a cool custom like maybe like nameplate with ken on it something for that would channel his kenergy instead yeah it's like a cheap i could i got better stands off amazon 100 dog collecting <laughs> my first official doll yeah how do you feel i'm finally part of the club does that make you happy? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Oh, we'll figure that out later. Maybe next to Piss Kitty. <laughs> you can't just say that without context. They know. They know. Who. Only OG followers know about Piss Kitty. I mentioned Kitty. Piss Kitty at least once an episode that I'm in. That's not true. Pretty sure it is. Don't look at me like that. Do you have any final thoughts? That's great. <laughs> Do you have any final thoughts? Um... No, not really. I like him. I'm. I do enjoy him. I wish he would have gotten here faster. That was probably the, the one thing that was like, all right, guys. Like, I okay. Listen, I normally like. I feel like I sound like a Karen complaining about. It. Can you maybe do this like after so that? No. Okay. Uh, I feel like a bit of a Karen complaining about it. But my thing is that how do you end up having to delay a doll that was on pre order? Like it already was going to. Okay. Okay. September, October, and then halfway through November. So like a solid three months. How do you have three months to produce a doll and then end up having to delay it another month? Like, if it was just a normal order that ended up getting delayed, <laughs> I wouldn't be bothered by it. Because, like, that happens and I understand, like, stuff stuff happens, stuff goes wrong. I'll fix it later, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like to have a doll on pre-order for three months and then you can't make that deadline is just a little bit embarrassing, to be honest. Maybe they had too many orders? I don't know. I it mean, doesn't matter. He's here now. I'm just, I'm just going to stay mad. So, yeah, I mean, it was kind of egregious. But I do think he's a pretty cool doll. He's yeah, pretty fun. I want him to stay up there. I will figure it out. No, I got it. Really it. So, as I said, I'll figure it out later. Yeah, no, I think he's a very cool doll. I think. You see, though, the problem with the stand, like, this just doesn't click in. You might at need to all. use a different stand. It just, like, sits there. Yeah. That might be, like, a super glue, the stand or something. But. Yeah, no, I think if they had not dropped the ball as much, I think I would have been more excited. But at, at one point, it was just more frustration than yeah. anything. Because I think it's a dangerous game with pre-orders where it's like, it's so far away that you're excited when you buy it. Yeah. But then the excitement starts to diminish, and then when the pre-order gets delayed, it's like... That's that's why, like... Because I, I used to pre-order video games a lot when I was younger. And that was back when pre-ordering a game was a good idea. <laughs> Uh, until nowadays but yeah like i would have to like because you always say oh yeah I, you know there's this doll i want i'm gonna pre-order it it's coming out in like 2050 sort of thing and it's like that's so far oh, no it's like oh like you pre-order a doll it's december so yeah. you pre-order it it's gonna come out in june yeah and it's like that's so far away but that's like I, yeah it makes sense because i've pre-ordered games that are like two years away yeah and you kind of, the way I do it is I put it out of my brain and it just doesn't exist. I don't look at anything for it until like the week or month of mm -hmm. its release. And then you can get excited. But so yeah, we were like, oh, it's going to be shipping on around my birthday, wasn't yeah. it? It's now almost 2024. And, it, and as of time of watching, it will be 2024. Yeah, and it got here like a couple, I don't know how long ago, not too Like long a week ago. ago. Yeah. Like right before Christmas. But yeah. Uh, other than that, the frustration that's kind of in the air around it, I really like it. I think the other thing with the pre-order is that, like, I think about, I just managed to snag the, uh, Gen 3 Venus pre-order, which is, like, only 15 days or so. Like, she's gonna get here pretty soon. It's not oh, that, that intense. That's the, the one I just bought the one today that, that like, I was, like, frantic about. 
the yeah. one that I immediately knew you were talking about and was like, buy it, buy it, buy it. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and like, I had pre-ordered Vampire Heart Draculaura. Like that one was pre-ordered for maybe a month before it ended yeah, up okay. shipping or something like that. She's way up top. Okay. But those, I think it's like, I have loved Monster High for a very long time and I probably will always love Monster High. Not to say that I don't still think this Ken is cool, but he's specifically from a movie. And so I think for the doll to ship out as the hype kind of starts to die yeah, down. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, it, it would be different if... I didn't think of that. It was like, oh, it's a month-long pre-order, so the hype is still really present around yeah. the movie. But it's just, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I think the, it being tied to a very specific piece of yeah. media makes it feel worse. That That is a good point. I didn't even think about it. Because, yeah, it's the Barbie movie was a ton of fun. I'm not, like, over it, per se. Like, it wasn't like, okay, yeah, it's done. I'm done with yeah. it. Like, it was a fun movie. I would watch it again. Yeah. But we went and saw it forever ago, and it would have been really cool if it was, like, the... Maybe even, like, a month, like a two months. Yeah. Because when did the movie come out? Back in August, I think. Yeah, so, would it, like, a month is kind of quick, I think, for, like... But to have the pre-order come out either the day before or the day of the movie dropping... I mean, I don't know exactly when the, like, I don't know exactly. Like, or like the they would ship everything. a month or two months after yeah. the movie came out. Because then it's the hype's kind of on the tail coming out. Oh, the doll came out. Yeah. Now you can enjoy it after the movie. Oh, hey, we got a doll. Now it's. It's like, oh, I haven't thought about the Barbie movie in a minute. Like, I haven't. Months. Yeah. It just hasn't been on my radar as much. And I mean, you know, it is what it is. Again, that's not to say that he's not still really cool, but I do just think some of the like processing time there was fumbled because i think this could have been bigger <laughs> this could have been a like like i said I, I really other than the stand yeah the stand is easily the worst part uh it could have been like an eight to nine out of ten doll for me yeah but well, we, would you rate him now um if i take that away it's still eight a uh eight to nine because mm -hmm. i don't I think it would have been 10 out of 10 if he mm. came with a outfit pack of the hoodie. Yeah. Instead of spending another... And I think if they would have already done the face mold for Ryan. Because that would have been yeah, cool I, too. Yeah, I know you said you don't like it, but I still think that's I really think it's, dumb. I think it's really cool that they did it to have a face mold. They should have done it to begin with because it is his movie doll. Yeah, and I, I don't know. like they, I mean, it is his likeness, so there could have been some legal stuff going on that kind of prevented that from happening. But I, I just feel kind of... Yeah weird about it that it's like hey we've released all of these barbie movie dolls surprise here's one more that's wearing half of the same outfit that we've already released for you guys but new face mold yeah um i think now i would give it like a six and a half seven Dang. maybe seven well i didn't want to go brutal uh, maybe seven seven's good with all of the negative stuff i'm trying to look at it only with the positive so i will give it an eight eight and a half that's fair. I think I would say eight if it weren't for the stand. The stand is high key irritating. Yeah, the stand was new, better, and I'm very picky. Like that is one of the things I really like about uh, their stands are pretty basic. But like the obviously, if you buy a collector doll, yeah. those are collectors, right? No, no. He's pointing to my Skultimate Secret doll. <laughs> well, they're special then. I don't know. Well, they don't even have stands. They just like kind of balance and can stand up in the lockers. Uh, well, don't don't some of your collectors dolls come with yeah custom the, stands? Yeah. Why am I choking? <laughs> and the way that, like, stands are handled, there's a few different types, and, like, people have their different opinions, and, like, that's fine. But yeah. my thing is mostly just, I, I don't really care about a saddle stand versus, like, a clip stand or anything like that. I don't even honestly care if it's decorative as long as it functions. This one is borderline not functioning. I And so that's what bothers me, because I don't I don't remember how much he was. He was somewhere between, like, the $75 to $90 range. I think he was, like, $75. Range. He, he might have been a little more. 80 Something 90. like that. But for us to spend that much money on a doll and have the stand not function as well as, like, literally even a Rainbow High doll stand is ludicrous. That's why I'm saying the amount of money that was spent on them, I feel like it should have been a decorative stand. Yeah. A little bit. Because if they're trying to go for the Ken, he's very uh, outspoken. With his outfit. <laughs> so I thought... He should have had, like, horses molded into the bottom of his That's what stand. I was about to say, is it should have had, like, like horses, maybe not molded, but, like, stick, like printed or stickered running around. Oh, yeah. And then in the middle, have a, a plate with that on it. The pen, yeah. That would have been, I think, the perfect stand for it. at Mattel wants to hire us to design stand. I just think that would have been, that would have been perfect for it. That would have really given him, like, yeah, this is a Ken stand. Like this the is collector stand. This is, yeah, it's a collector doll. 
I wouldn't have even cared at the point that you had to spend extra money on the other doll because then at least uh, I still probably would care. But it would have shown a little bit more care, I guess, or a little bit more touch instead yeah. of the the cheap plastic that I can uh, push in a little bit when I press with my finger. <laughs> I like that this has devolved into us just talking about talking how terrible the stand is well it also talked about uh pre-orders no I just, I just thought it was funny <laughs> that's my takes on pre-orders i i'm i used to be a very big yeah fit, i think my final thoughts if that's where you want to yeah. move of uh, the stand aki poo poo kaka like <laughs> not worthy of the mojo dojo casa house <laughs> not worthy of them but like get out of the mojo dojo casa house like not in this dojo and <laughs> And I and I I think my thoughts on pre-orders and stuff. I used to love pre-orders. Obviously, they're a little different in the doll world yeah. now for than like for how I grew up with games. I'm a lot more sketched out with pre-orders nowadays. I mean, but, yeah, I definitely think games are very different than dolls in that regard. With dolls, I mean, to use the two examples I brought up, the G3 Venus, I pre-ordered her because I'm eager. And you guys will have already seen at this point that I'm not purchasing any dolls actively in January. So I really wanted to pre-order her so that I didn't have to go all of January without buying her. Um, so like that one, did I need to pre-order it? Absolutely not. Because at some point she's a Playline doll. Like she's going to be more widely available. So that one is kind of just personal preference and like for personal reasons. But something like the Vampire Heart Draculaura is something where there is a very real chance with the distribution that Mattel sometimes has and, like, the fact that so many people were excited about her and, you know, there's who knows how many additions. A pre-order can help you secure a doll because, like, if you don't get the pre-order, you might miss out. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, it's different in doll world, but come on, Mattel, get better stand. Be cool. Don't be, don't be a bunch of booger eater little <laughs> goblins under a bridge that are, like, paid the tax. You know, this video started out like really silly got strangely like intelligent for a second yeah, <laughs> and it's now cool. we're silly again. It's gotta bounce out. you just called them tell booger eaters yeah little goblins little gremlin little little loot goblins that are if you want your money mm. like listen here will ferrell head of mattel <laughs> really really Stop. really Stop. Come, come so close right now. So close. Are you done? Does okay. it look like I'm done? I was just come hoping. Come closer. You gotta push me over once a video, huh? Uh huh. Oh, I'm not allowed back up. No, I'm. Okay. I'm having. I'm. I'm doing. I'm having a moment. Okay. Okay. Come on. Moments over. I love being banished from my own channel. Um, so yeah. You wouldn't complain if it was a star. Yeah, sneak that little chat in there. Yes. 100% yes. So that's been the video. I am not going to call it a review because that doesn't feel accurate. No, it's just a... That's been the video about the Mojo Dojo Casa House fur coat, Ken. Would you like to round out the video? Say Thank you for joining us in the Mojo Dojo Casa room. In our Mojo Dojo Casa house with our Mojo Dojo Casa Ken. This has been Mojo Dojo Casa Rain and Mojo Dojo Casa Me uh, and Ken uh, signing off for uh, lunchtime. <laughs> Do you want to do the actual outro? That was my outro. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you were able to enjoy. I don't know what you're doing. There. I'm just sitting here. Okay. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Say bye. Adios. Bye, guys. <laughs>